In Australia, as many as 75% of cancers first present in general practice as a result of symptoms. However, GPs can experience challenges in diagnosing them for a few reasons. One, they might only see five to 10 new cases of cancer, excluding skin cancers, among thousands of consultations a year. Two, most symptoms of cancer can also have more common benign causes. And three, as you know, cancers often present initially with more subtle, non-specific symptoms. Luckily, research using routine general practice data, such as the CAPER studies, has helped to inform our understanding of the epidemiology of cancer in primary care. To support GPs, Cancer Council Western Australia is introducing Find Cancer Early, a guide for general practitioners. The guide focuses on four of the most common cancers in WA, colorectal, lung, prostate and breast. These four cancers make up approximately 50% of all new cancer cases diagnosed in WA. It's a simple resource that uses an evidence-based approach to recognising potential cancers earlier. It allows us to estimate the likelihood of cancer based on the presence of specific clinical features, such as signs, symptoms, and common investigations for these cancers, and is designed to aid decision-making for further investigation or referral. The guide is a toolkit containing positive predictive value, or PPV tables, for each of the four cancer types. PPVs quantify the probability of cancer for individual and pairs of clinical features in patients over the age of 40. The values represent the proportion of people out of 100 with individual or combinations of clinical features who will have an underlying cancer. The red boxes denote that the probability of cancer is greater than 5%. Orange denotes a probability between 2 and 5%. Yellow, a probability between 1 and 2%. And white, less than 1%. These numbers can help guide the urgency with which you investigate or refer someone. For those in red, urgent referral should be considered. Orange PPVs probably warrant prompt investigation. Those patients with lower PPVs still require follow-up of their symptoms and possible investigation to rule out an underlying serious condition. Let's look at how to use these tables. PPVs for individual clinical features are found along the first row. Using colorectal cancer as an example, the probability of cancer for an abnormal rectal exam on its own is quite low at 1.5%. To find the PPV for a combination of two clinical features within a 12-month period, the subsequent rows are used together with the columns. So we can see that an abnormal rectal exam combined with loss of weight increases the probability to 7.4%. When combined with rectal bleeding, 8.5%. And diarrhea, 11%. Rectal bleeding alone is 2.4%. However, two separate episodes of rectal bleeding increases the probability to 6.8% and requires immediate referral and investigation. Separate lung cancer PPV tables are available for smokers and non-smokers. PPVs for the two groups are different and, as expected, higher for smokers for individual clinical features and most combinations. For non-smokers, the probability of lung cancer for thrombocytosis on its own is 1.6% but when combined with loss of weight, increases to 6.1%. For smokers, the probability of lung cancer for thrombocytosis is higher at 4.2% and increases to greater than 10% when combined with loss of weight. This highlights the importance of performing a full blood count in people with symptoms associated with lung cancer. For prostate cancer, the probability of cancer for nocturia alone is 2.2%, but if in combination with loss of weight, the PPV increases to 12%. The breast cancer table is slightly different and presents PPVs for single clinical features at different ages. For example, the probability of breast cancer for a breast lump at age 40 to 49 years is 4.8%. This increases to 48% for a woman aged 70 years or over. 
The breast lump and pain column is the PPV when a woman has reported both a breast lump and breast pain at least once each during the year before the index date. Each cancer guide also contains information on symptoms, risk factors and implications for practice for GPs to consider. Find Cancer Early, a guide for general practitioners, is available for free download from the Cancer Council website. Cancer Council encourages GPs to refer to it when managing patients presenting with potential cancer symptoms. For more information, visit the Cancer Council website.